Basic Hazard Area Classification Hazard Area Classification or Electric Area Classification is the area which is the represent the potential of hazardous area. It is used to select appropriate electrical equipment inside due to it. It is recognized that the electrical equipment has the most potential to act as the ignition source for the flammable vapor, combustible liquid or explosion dust, which are the considered as the hazardous material in many manufacturing Facility, so that the petrochemical, chemical, fertilizer, and food. So this drawing intend to minimize the probability of ignition by means of limiting the surface temperature or eliminating the potential for sparking or control the vapor travel or using equipment special design. The above is the hazardous area of the flammable storage tank. We can notice hazardous area classification by zone system, and it is divided to the zone 0, to the zone 2, by location of the probability of the ignition. Hazardous system, the identical code and its standard throughout the world have mostly taken into the two code standard. In North America, they use a class and div division system. It's divided into the three classification and two division. The class are based on the type of hazards and explosive character of the material such as the class 1 for the gas and vapor, class 2 for combustible dust, and class T for the fiber. And division being based on the likelihood of the leaks for the fire explosion, that's material present. Division 1 is higher risk than the division 2, and the division 2 is occur only in abnormal condition. In the auto-run design system is the zone system, which are developed based on the IEC. The most different between zone and division is the zone divided the probability of ignition into three zones, not two division. Just as the flammable gas are classified into the zone zero to zone two, depending on the risk of the ignition. Design code and method of classification of the hazardous area. There are many related design code for the hazardous area classification, such as in FPA 70 and FPA 497, IP 15. API RP500, API RP500, AIEC 60079, and etc. The working method has a bit different between them. Anyhow, the basic step to establish the hazard zone typically, the first one, identify of the hazard material. Identification of the sort release, determi determination of the grade of release, determination of the release rate velocity, determination of the type of the area and decree of the available of the ventilation and the last one use appropriate code or calculation to determine the extent of the zone. However, basically they are the three methods available to estimate the hazardous zone. The first one direct example from the application course. Second one a point source approach and the third one a risk based approach. Anyhow the most important step are the identification of the hazardous material, identification of the sort of the release, determination of the gate of the release. The first step, identification of the hazardous material. The hazardous material that related to the hazardous electrical area classification is the flammable gas, flammable vapor, flammable liquid, and combustible dust. Flammable gas and vapor phase material at the ambient condition. There are the several important factors that shall be reviewed and shut at the the flash point, LEL, UEL, minimum initial energy, MIE, maximum experimental safety gap, or MESG, initial temperature. Flammable liquid is a liquid material and ambient condition. However, it has a vapor pressure or the, the partial pressure that's sufficient to generate the vapor form and cause of the flying explosion in the ambient condition. The flying explosion factors are the same as the flammable gas. What is a combustible dust? Combustible dust is a dust which will burn when mixed with the air. It needs to be treated in different way to the gas or vapor or mist. When while of the release is normal in cloud form. Once the release the dust, it will not disperse as the gas, but it will initially form a cloud and then settle as the dust layer. What is the source of the release? The source of the release is defined as a point or location from the which gas, vapor, mist, or liquid may be released into the atmosphere so that an explosive gas atmosphere could be formed. Principal type of the equipment subject to the leak or release, such as the pipework, flange, valve, pump, compressor, 
etc. The typical respective leak scenario based on the respective equipment, such as the full ball structure for the piping, seal leak for the pump or pump broken itself. The leakage scenario is very important matter when using the point source approach for the established hazard area. What is the gate of release or frequency of the occurrence? Both of the factors both of the factors are related which each code provided. The definition at the follow table. Based on the IEC 60079, classify the hazardous zone based upon the frequency of the presence of the hydrocarbon and duration of the explosive as the zone zero. Present hydrocarbon is continuously, duration is wrong period. Zone one, present hydrocarbon is lightly, duration is normal operation. Zone two, Present is not likely or short period and non hazardous is mean not expect to have hydrocarbon in long period. Two more precise discussion about the frequency of the presence of the hydrocarbon. The code IP15 provides the frequency value for the adjustment the grace of the release as below table. I will explain more about hazard area classification in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye. See you next time.